I am Theo Fonda and this is ND Buddy. Um, I don't know because I think fans of my music would be fans of this as well because I think the only thing that's really missing is like just reading the electric guitars and um, it's got pretty much everything that I've done on other records. It's just basically what the song sounds like when we view it up. So it's, I don't know, it was good getting all the strings and stuff and getting to express my harmonies because it's kind of on a leash sometimes to review and like, oh, that's, that's not quite rock enough. And then it's like, if I do too many harmonies, so it was good just getting to it on a leash. So it was, it's, the first, it's the first record I've ever produced on my own. I've co produced some stuff. But um, the, it was, the engineer was kind of not really helping us. I kind of thought, I'll produce a bit, I'll get some help. But he was like, just, no, you're doing it kind of thing unless you want an name to it. So it was a bit, uh, it was a bit strange. Um, but uh, no, not not having anyone to feed off. I had a drummer there, but he was like, he wasn't getting any points or nothing. So it was just, he was just kind of telling me what to play. And so he wasn't wanting to get involved at all. So it was just, I was like, come on, somebody say something. So, but it's good. I mean, it's, it's, it's freedom, but it's like a bit too much liberty to get away sometimes. But obviously, it's worth this time. But um, I'm going to be starting to do some new stuff. I'm going to Thailand next week to start on some new stuff. But I'm bringing guitarists at this point because I felt quite lonely last time. So I just like. Just go about sitting in the studio all day on your own and just doing the take on it. Sometimes it's good for the band because you could do your take and then just leave and they could do their bit for you know, you know, swimming or go to the pub, you know what I mean? But it's like, shit, I've tried to tell myself. But, um, but I did enjoy it, I thought it was good, but uh, for doing that for six weeks, it was a bit of a I don't know because I never really had any intent. I mean, but like, funnily enough, like years, like years ago when I thought about doing a solo album, I just wanted to be like Finn Lizzy, like big metal guitar stuff. So I thought that's the direction I'm going. Twin leads, like big fear, get the earrings in it, and like, but uh, I don't know. Like, I think for this, I just because it's because it's never been my job to be a lead, a lead guitarist or to be the bass player, or do you know what I mean? So I've, when I do it, I would keep it quite minimalistic anyway. So that just kind of happened naturally. Um, I mean, I've got like these wee phone and I'll have my, I'll have my guitar riff that I'll start on or whatever. Or I'll have this, I wrote the string parts sort of on a Mellotron. So like they were meant something, when the girls actually played them live, like they, they'd done all the pads and stuff. So it was it was cool filling it out. But there was, I mean, I thought like, but that was a fool anyway. But the, having a band, everyone wants to put their touch on it. So I kind of felt that's how it, that's how it ended up like that. Oh, that, yeah. So I wrote, I, wrote, I wrote that part on the guitar and then we sort of done it on the Mellotron. You know, this, it's like a 1970s Mellotron, it was Paul McCartney, so it was in Paul Wells' studio. It was like, ding, 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 and it's got this wonky sound to it, but it kept breaking. So when I was in the middle, I was like, yes, we've got the tape. But it's like, wow. You could use like an electronic one, but it wasn't as authentic. So. But then I'd done all the string parts and then they got, re they got, they got like, replayed on the on live anyway. So it was cool to have, I mean, we got like a, had a, a four piece uh, like a quartet. And they have played, they've done stuff for us before, um, but they kind of done, done done what I had already played in the triple, they've done the harmonies, they've done it three times, so it's like a massive orchestra. So we've done it like that, it was pretty cool to watch. I was like, no, I'm not going to get this done in a day, but we've got it done. It was enough, I've had it for years, and the view always says, oh, that's, we're going to stop playing that, or else we're dead, dead, <laughs> and they would, we just never, some songs you jam, and they, they come together, but I've been playing that for ages, just waiting on them, picking up on it, and nobody really, I never took that, and I was like, I'm going to make that on my solo album. Because I, I, I wrote the song over the riff, so you know what I mean? It was, like, it was kind of funny because sometimes, some things just don't go anywhere, they just sit there for years. And that was like when I was in the ear, because I was like, yeah, and I kept saying, Prayer me, you say this guy, Prayer me, Prayer me, and I'm fucking trying to my hair. And I just kept, you know, it just it was really embedded in the head, so it was pretty cool. It was cool, man. Funnily enough, someone the other day said, I was like, what should the single be? And I was like, Oh, it should never have been pure me, that's the worst song in the album, because I skipped it. It was like, yeah, that's all it's been. Nonsense. You get everyone some title to a different thing. Um, I like family thing because Wild, my daughter, she, that was the first time she'd ever laughed about recording it. You take it at the start, it's a good way, it's a good laugh. Um, uh, it's, but I, I like them all, I like, uh, I like them all. It's just, I like Kelly, I think, I think Kelly's the most, most uh, emotional one. Um, they're not good. I don't know, they're all different, because like, it's all like Japanese girl, I wrote that in America, like, 2014, and it was just funny at the start, because I was always saying, because I just put up on the next album, and I was saying, come on, I wish I was a Japanese girl, it was so nice, because like, we always have like a Jap we've got quite a big Japanese fan base, and um, we, we don't get across there, because of, yeah, but I think we're going to get soon, but we just never got across there, because of things. Um, 
but the, we've always got like loads of Japanese people that come to come to my gigs, no far and wide because we can't come over there. So I'm saying I'm gonna find a Japanese girl because they're just so nice and nice. And, so I, 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 songs are different. Like Kelly was about uh, uh, sort of, someone in the school. It was like sort of transsexual. Turned out to be like transsexual in school. Was being sure what the sex was or white and it was kind of bullied. So it was like, you know, it was like that. So that's something that's always played on my head. But that was another song that I just it was kind of written while well, I was in the view, but then I didn't understand it. Like, what does it mean? It means something to me. Like, I, I didn't ask you what, whatever you used to do. You know what I mean? So there's quite, I don't know, and then there's songs that I am doing. I write songs all the time, but it depends sometimes. It comes from a really crazy idea. I always get the good ideas when I'm lying in bed and I want to go to sleep or, or if I'm or if I'm doing something I'm busy, that's when I'm like, oh no, like, go away, like, go away. So I never actually sit down and say, right, wait, wait, a song. If I do that, then it seems forced. But no, I, I think I must be the music I listen to or what I'm doing up on. I like, I like musicals. I was brought up with lots of women. Like, I brought like, two sisters before me, so they're kind of similar age to me. So mum and dad were musical, whole family. Like, I like I like actual musicals, I like classical music. <laughs> and I love the Beatles, everyone goes goes, oh, do you like that? It's got the Beatles, man, the Beatles. Well, I like the Beatles, we've got to love the Beatles. We've got to completely get inside them, you know what I mean? So, um, but I think that's what you listen to, I don't know, because it just kind of comes, you're never going to need a hook. The hook's come, they just, they just come, so. Um, but one day it'll stop coming, so I'm just going to appreciate it, because they keep coming, it's like, Drah. Yeah, then I'll, I'll need to go to them as a professional snooker queen. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm afraid, yeah. I'm afraid. But I, I think if you're not afraid, that's kind of what keeps you on your toes. It makes you, like, makes you think about it was done, because but you always, no matter what, I always feel lazy. Even if I'm touring and I've just released an album, I still feel like I'm lazy and I should be doing more. So I think if you don't feel like that, you should be, you should be you know, you've got to feel like, oh, I can't just give yourself that. But, but I don't know, I think the people that do have, uh, do, I think there's a market for everything, like, if you, if you have got, a, if, you, if you have deep meanings, it means you can feel hardship or, or something's happened and you should be able to express it, do you know what I mean? But getting the people to listen to it, so, some people don't want deeper meanings, some people just like, happy things, but, I think that's what, that's what gives you longevity, like, I mean, I know the stuff that I like, it's always got deeper meanings, I mean, if the Beatles never heard their story, I mean, or Oasis never heard of mental stories and stuff that I wouldn't have I wish that, you know what I mean? But I think you've got to, as, as uh, to follow on as, as uh, to, uh, for, another, uh, for another artist to like another artist, you've got to have all the meaning, but I mean, so, I mean, people just like groups, you know what I mean? That's, I've never really been, I don't think I'm a groovy guy, you know what I mean? I'm not really, I'm not, I think that's, that's good. I think it's good to be quite, like, I know that I'm on it, I mean, I'm a musician, musician I can play, play an instrument as well, but I've never been a, wanting to be the best guitarist in the world, you know what I mean? But I think it's good to leave room for other things, you know what I mean? Like, just because a lot of people are like, just, no, 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 it's like, well, that's how you know that song is, stop playing about it because you're a good guitarist. So I think I'm going to stick to the job, but even though I don't do that, but like, so, <laughs> I'm not sure, like, there is sometimes when I first come up on it, like, when you're kind of admitting to the cycle or something on, on record, like, um, it does, it, it's scary at the start because you're thinking, oh, I can't write that a song, or, or I can't write it with drugs, or I can't write that stuff because I don't know, but I'm kind of past that now, I don't know who knows what I do, it seems, it's the best, it's what, it's what I'm good at, like, I don't, if I try to write about it, I was singing today in the car, we were listening to the Beatles Greatest Hits thing or something, in the, in the motor, in the, in the van, and I was thinking, I've never actually wrote a song coming about love, I have actually one when I was 13 and I wrote a song called I Love You, that's it, I've never wrote anything about love in it before, and I was thinking the Beatles, like, all those about the older songs, and I was thinking, I'm going to try and do that, but it's always something sinister or something dark that grabs me and goes, I've got to get that done, do you know what I mean, but that's, I love stuff, I love that growing up, I love Crowded House, dude, and like, they, they've got all the dark meanings and like, like beautiful south, you know, they're quite, you have to, you have to, you have to delve a wee bit further to, to understand what you're on, so I think that's where I could get that from. Um, it's great, it's getting better, it's getting tired, I've got a violin player but she's not here tonight, so she can play something, she's got a big head over and does the whole lot, she's meeting in Manchester for um, but yeah, it's five piece band, really good, harmonies are tight, it's good. It affects me and because I've kind of admitted stuff, 
yeah. yeah. kind of thing. Oh, okay. There's some venues that don't want me in and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Some people are just say, oh, you're not allowed in that, 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 that yeah. riffraff, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of stuff that I kind of, I've got a lot of amends to me, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't actually remember what I've done bad to me, but I must have done bad things. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, man, that's like, it's a good man to get some of the bad people, so you can tell he's a friend of his, you know? I still get it in the street and stuff, like people shouting stuff, and well, I've always heard that anyway, but now they're like, the way I mean, I was playing in Dundee the other day, someone, someone put up, everyone was writing so much great stuff about it from the V&M was all open. It's great, they're like, oh, he's playing, everyone was happy that he's playing, but someone was like, oh, you better not be turning up, and drunk, and making a feel of yourself, as he always does, and I'm like, what? I don't even know. Do you know what I mean? Like, you try, like, doing what I've been done, doing since I was 17 years old, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's hard to do anything. Watching your parents and stuff, like, people, people just judge, you know, like, from anything, so, that pisses me off sometimes. But that, if anyone reads stuff, it's, it's now and again, I've got a phone, do you know what I mean? It's just go, oh, no, I shouldn't have read that. It's like, so, um, listen to the Beatles. Um, classical music is good, go to sleep with classical music on rather, rather than the TV. I know that I do that, I listen to TV and watch TV all the time. Um, and I know it sounds cliche, but try not to do it too much drinking drugs because it's pretty mental. Well, maybe wait till you're a bit older because it's not very much more as a habit. Um, Manchester tomorrow, um, just tune, tune north. I'm going, to, I'm going to Taiwan next week to do some recording and do this thing for Netflix. Thank you. <coughs> uh, I'm going to Thailand for 10 days and then. What else have we got? Just gigs. What? Sheffield. Sheffield's coming up, yeah, Sheffield gig. Um, just loads of gigs. Thanks for being good interview.